Hello there, welcome to episode 18 of the B-League and very excited, in fact honoured to have a very special guest helping us out with the B-League tonight. Let's find out a little bit more about him. He came with a huge reputation and it was at that moment that he started to live up to that reputation and he did it all season. He's contributed so much to football in this country in such a short time. It's wonderful to have him here. It's a real honour, not only on behalf of Australian football, but for all the codes. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only marquee referee, Chris Griffiths-Jones. Great to see you, mate. Uh, Welcome. Thank you. thank you. Thank you very much for joining us in the flesh. Here he is. And, of course, a big game that you uh, officiated in on Friday night, the Roar against the Wanderers. And when most players get a yellow card, have a look at this. They question it. They uh, take the referee to task. They're not happy with the decision. But what happens when KGJ gives you a yellow card? You shake his hand. This is Labrador Halidi after getting booked. Now, what was that all about? Well, it was about the tan lines. Um, he agreed <laughs> right. with me as well. I said that's a yellow card, and he said he'll fix it up next time. OK, good on you, Labino. Nice to see you in the white T-shirt as well. Uh, one of the other big talking points from Friday night was the pass completion. Let's have a look at what happened. Of course, uh, Shinji Ono, always quality, 78% in his pass completion. Thomas Broich, 84%. And who's at the top on 100%? Chris Cripps jones Let's have a look at you in action with this beautiful one too with Bratton. Talk us through it, mate. Yeah, I saw the ball come to me, played it off to him. He then nutmegged me and play continued. Mate, you just tick all the boxes. Incredible to see you in form like that. One of the other major talking points from Friday night's game was this moment here with yourself and Tony Popovich. It seemed like quite a heated conversation. What were you talking about? Talking about so you think you can dance and what time it started. To... <laughs> oh, really? He's a big fan, is he? Massive fan. OK, good on you, Popper. We've all got our interests. Uh, let's find out what's happening in Brisbane. Are you sick of your name? Then change it by deed poll today at the Wollongabba Births, Deaths and Marriages Office. You can be just like our celebrity ambassador. He was born Michael Theoklatos, but in August 2012, we helped him become Michael Theo. To be honest, everyone's known me as Theo. I just yeah. thought, make it official sort of thing. Theo-M-G. He can't get enough. In this day and age, two syllables takes forever. Because now, in 2014, he's at it again. The player formerly known as Michael Theoklatos and Michael Theo proudly reveals his new name, T. Yo, this is T. Changing your name by default opens doors for a career change too. I'm going to be thinking about life after football. That's why T is so swag, bro. The logical progression for me is hardcore rap. Can't you see that it's me, the T? Sick rhymes T, and look how impressed his homeboys are. No one calls him T, not even his own family. It's embarrassing. T should have called himself W. Hey is gonna hate, potato's gonna potate, and slate is gonna slate. It's after the yes and before the you. I'm the T, so what are you gonna do? Change your name today at the Wollongabba Birth, Deaths and Marriages Office. Register today and receive our bonus offer of changing your club with complete confidentiality until the deal's gone through. There it is. That's uh, T in the flesh. Good to see him making it all official. Now, one of the big talking points on Friday night, the coverage, was Yusuf Hersey when he was asked pre-game, who is your ideal date? This is what happened. Uh, Tyra. <laughs> Tyra for Fox Sports. Ah, okay. See? Yeah. In the pre-game show in the Q&A League, you listed one Tara Rushton as your favourite celebrity <laughs> of the female kind. Now... <laughs> oh, sweaty! <laughs> talk us through that one. Uh, no, no. You've broken no. out into no, a no, 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 I was a little bit joking. But, yeah. She's a beautiful woman, so I like it. <laughs> yes, he was just a little bit joking there. But uh, Tara, like most ladies involved with football, only has eyes for one man, and that is not KGJ, sadly. It's Marcos Flores. And look at her response when she hears Flores' flavour. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I wanna take a ride on your disco stick. Loses control of her body. That's the effect of Flores' flavour. Something for you to work towards, no, KGJ. Absolutely. You'll get there eventually. Keep working on it, mate. Uh, now, let's talk about Shannon Cole. Not only is he a great footballer, in his spare time, he's been writing some science fiction. True story, he's releasing a book very soon, which is terrific for Shannon. So we wanted to talk about A-League fiction, because it's not only Shannon who's writing some fiction. We can share with you exclusively right now. Harry Kuehl's written a book uh, called I Never Miss Penalties. This is interesting. Josep Gombau from Adelaide United has a new book called Val's Son is a Great Goalkeeper. Really nice uh, fiction work there. And this is one of my favourite pieces of fiction. Uh, Bessart Barisha's new novel... Brisbane Till I Die. Um, KGJ, I believe you're releasing a new book as well. Yeah, absolutely. As you know, my struggle with the ladies, <laughs> totally fictional because, Sam, I find the ladies quite easily. <laughs> 
True story, my friend. Let's talk about the Golden Cornthwaite. We appreciate all of your tweets that you're sending through at the B-League and the B-League Fox Sports on Facebook. A lot of people wondering, what is Jules Schiller doing in Sochi? Alex Pavlidis is suggesting that he's busy with Vladimir Putin. Nice tweet there. The next one, he's also busy uh, doing the new Bond movie while he's in Russia. Well done. And he's also paying homage to the great Ross Aloisi. But there can only be one winner, and that, of course, is Alex Pavlidis with his... His flurry of tweets, this is what he's doing there, uh, sharing some delicacies from Terrigal in Russia. And well done. Here's your personalised message, Alex. Hi, guys. I'm Robbie Corthway, and I'd like to present this week's Golden Corthway to... Alex, Alex Pavlidis. Pavlidis. All because you... Put, put Schiller in Sochi. Congratulations, champ. Outstanding effort, Alex. And we're asking you guys to share with us on Twitter and Facebook uh, what is Jules Schiller doing in Sochi? And the other one we're asking you about is A-League Fiction. Please share them with us. Now, KGJ, if people want to follow in your footsteps and reach the lofty heights of refereeing and running backwards, what do they do, mate? Yeah, they go onto the website playfootballnsw.com.au and you too could be on the B-League. You could be a marquee referee just like this guy. Well, that's it for tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Good night, B-Leaguers. Good night, Ross Aloisi.